Uh, Absolutely. But other than that, just been uh, just been enjoying the, the, the just been trying to save money and not spend on the glitch pop skins. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how you feel about that. They they're pretty awesome. I've got to say. Oh, I I am one hundred percent with you. I wanted those skins so bad, and uh, my wife is amazing, and she watches our money. So she said no, and I said okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I listen. I listen. <laughs> but anyways, let's jump in into the agent. Uh, picks all up in here. Grapefruit Techniques going pretty hardcore right here with the Phoenix pick, with the Jet and the Killjoy with, and the normal Sova Omen. And on the other side, we are seeing the Breach. I'm excited to see Breach on the side of Fun Snatchers Bemi. How do you feel about Breach and the triple flash uh, ability? You'll never see it coming. It's uh, just such a powerful <laughs> agent. I mean, memes aside, uh, Breach is... I've seen just sort of is sort of such a tried and true agent. I mean, you can't deny the fact that this is such a self-sufficient agent that to the point where I would even argue sometimes, yes, you, you can control the area with breach just with a lot of the abilities and ultimate of rolling thunder. But I, I, I mean, breach is such an aggressive agent as well because it pushes in with the rolling thunder with the rest of the squad and just is, uh, can take a lot of things down ascent. Mid is sort of the playground for Breach a lot of the time where they want to play by themselves. And then other than that, it's uh, it's all wherever they want to go. It's it's such a strong agent that you can't ignore it. And honestly, it's it's I would say if you had a core three like you do in Southeast Asia sometimes, Breach is definitely one of them. Oh, absolutely. I've been seeing a lot of chatter about how Breach is finally making his way into the uh, NA scene for com you know competitive Valorant and I mean I'm surprised it's taken this long especially with the three flashes that he has at his disposal and they're so fast like the way that you could place these uh, flashes is just ridiculous you know through the wall I mean you can get them in some pretty crazy spots and uh, so th I mean it it's crazy that there's three of them in general so I'm excited that he's making his way it's going to be really really explosive play from the side of fun snatchers i really i have a feeling especially with the jet we are seeing this single duelist uh setup from S fun snatchers which is very interesting very exciting in general you know you just have the jet and uh lots of information lots of explosive play is going to come out from fun snatchers i'm really excited to watch this well like i said earlier breach can act as a duelist so in a way they're they're not missing out. They just have a, a duelist that's not called a duelist at this moment. <laughs> uh, another thing to talk about as well, the Phoenix. I like this pick coming in from Grapefruit Techniques. I'm a big fan of the Phoenix wall and the flashes that come around. There's so many 50-50 corners that Phoenix with the run it back can kind of just take over. And some of the abilities too, it's a great way to flush out a lot of areas that you're uncertain about. But right now, mid is going to be a bloodbath at the moment with a bit of a trade going back. But Kronos with the Frenzy meta has momentum going on their side. And meanwhile, in the midst of all that chaos, a little bit of a rope of dope as great for taking We'll get the plant, but it's still a 2v4. Not really sure if they're going to be able to lock it down, but not impossible. They know exactly where they're coming from, but the crossfire is not set up. Joe will get one, but that's going to be it. And a great, awesome pistol round coming in from Fun Snatchers. Yeah, absolutely. I. It was very interesting. You've got some of the members of Fun Snatchers that pushed really hard through B main, and they actually took a lot of the uh, attention of all the mid pushers from Grapefruit Techniques while there were a couple people pushing through tree, and that just set up this perfect crossfire between B main and that tree area, that little cubby there. And so that was perfect for Fun Snatchers. It gave them a nice opportunity to kind of destroy any sort of push from Grapefruit Techniques. They had two members left alive on A, and that was that. That was all she wrote. So Fun Snatchers up one to zero. And uh, I have a feeling that we're going to start seeing the explosiveness come out of Fun Snatchers. Even though they are on the defense, we will see some pretty aggressive play by them. I mean, we saw it last round, how they pushed through B-Main pretty hard. But this time, Grapefruit Techniques, looks like they're ready for it. <gasps> oh, yeah, they are. They only get one, though, but a nice little tag up will be allowed Kronos to get followed up on. And there it is, the Killjoy just back away. And still having five people to their names and... Fun Snatchers is just not ready for it. 
Grapefruit have adapted very effectively, just shooting down through the smoke, gonna lock down the site. And they are in a prime position to just make it one for one. This force buy is falling apart for Fun Snatchers. Oh, it's looking pretty destitute at the moment. 5v3, there it goes, a nice trade out, but Fun Snatchers falling one by one. It's just one member left alive. <laughs> Never mind, it's zero members left alive. And now the force buy is now in the hands of Grapefruit Techniques. That was a really fantastic play, kind of off the back of the Phoenix pick. So good call on that one, Bemi. The Phoenix is playing out pretty well, but we're going to see another save round probably from Fun Snatchers so they can really have a nice bankroll in their hands yes. and then after that i i think uh we're gonna see that explosiveness come out most likely it does seem like they are a little bit uh ambitious they do have a few credits to spend so they will buy into at least a sheriff and some armor maybe try to get the knives out a little bit more early they're a little over halfway through it we already see Kronos popping through yeah this is just a good yeah. old not throwaway round but you definitely are trying to win it you're just trying to make it as expensive as possible keep the economy tight but at the moment, with one player already going down, Fun Snatcher's not going to have an easy time doing so. And still, five-person squad going in for Grapefruit, and they are just keeping the momentum. It's a, uh, I'm, I'm expecting oh. the buy round to be something to write home about. I'm excited to see what Fun Snatchers can do with rifles. Oh, absolutely. And now this is just really unfortunate. You've just got the Cypher all the way on B. Five members of Grapefruit Technies left alive. I mean, what do you do here in this situation? I don't think there's anything for you to do. He's, he sends out the cage, and now this is uh, another round going over to Grapefruit Techniques, unless JD just has the most insane clutch of his life right here, Bemi. Nah, I, I mean, there's not even enough time. Clock's taking away. Just take some guns if you can, and not going to be even the case. A flawless round is massive, especially on attack. This is not a fully defense favored, but it tends to lean over to that. So whatever type of momentum you can get on attack is amazing. However, like you said here, choice, the choice of investment is coming in for the fun snatchers. And I'm seeing some already classic picks, the Jet Op, the Odin Sova. It's going to be a real ragtag time and great foods better watch out. There's guns coming right at them. Oh, absolutely, and we've been seeing a lot uh, of the Odin recently here in the Valorant Study Showdown, especially from, uh, I think his name was Impact, and right he now. just launched the Odin up into the sky, basically, with Brimstone, and he did some pretty crazy work with that, so it's exciting to see it again, but this is pretty classic. Here we go, now with the rifles in hand. This is huge. A lot of the members of Grapefruit Techniques falling. Nilius is actually going to be able to pick up another member. My goodness, it's going pretty Ooh. crazy, but a pretty solid trade for both teams. 3v3. Bemi, this is crazy already. Oh, and that whiff shot from Cronus is going to be massive. JD going down. The site's going to be locked in. And I don't think you're going to be able to take that over as Fun Snatchers. This is a bonus round. Grapefruit, if they lose this, it's not really the end of the world for them. So they, Fun Snatchers really need to make this work. They'll get information, but Venture can't really venture out too much. They know at least one's down there. Gets the wall bang. Nicely done. No more demons from hell spawning. We'll swap correctly over to the Phantom. Waiting to see if they're thinking regenerator wow. gets the peak nicely done. Venture doing a yeoman job right now. It all down comes to Nila's, and they'll be able to lock it down once and for all. It was a pretty expensive round for Front Snatchers, but a much needed win all the same. Oh, absolutely. And they're going to get that Odin back in their hands. That was huge. I mean, Fun Snatchers, it was looking pretty bad for there for a second. I mean, a, a lot of guns were taken out of their hands. Three members I taken down this. by Grapefruit Techniques. But it was really smart to send Kronos and Venture in up through heaven. My and I, honestly, they kind of got lucky Let's with go some of those you. hell picks. And uh, that's kind of that win condition. And now we see the Hunter's Fury and the Knives on the side of Fun Snatchers. Great for techniques, do have the knives in their hands, but they had enough money, like you said, Bemi. You know, they kind of had a bonus round, and now they've got some rifles in hand. Can't feel all that bad. They made it expensive. I think Grapefruit's doing a fantastic job. Not to say Fun Snatchers isn't doing it as well, but to look at it from the underdog side perspective, oh. pretty big, especially with a one tap coming in from Nil. Yes, 
a massive shot, a nice little tag onto Unshaken as well. And now Fruit Snatchers firmly needing to play it a little bit back. None of this aggressive off defense coming in, young friends. You have to sort of be a little more reserved here. Oh, absolutely. So, kind of playing it nice and slow, sending Cypher back towards uh, CT spawn and now it's just venture never mind venture's not Ooh. even on the board anymore jd does pick it up it is a nice trade out but now it is just a 2v4 situation fun snatchers kind of on the back end here we have an operator in hand but unshaken 51 hp is feeling probably a little shaken in this moment so a little tough situation but they can probably make something big happen here if they get a pick pick up that vandal that's right there in the middle of everything, they might actually be able to get something big done here, Bemi. Comes down to if Worldwide can get something. Thomas, what was that? Oh no, just unfortunate timing right there. Unshaken will get taken down. They are aware of the Odin coming in. They're going to have a little bit of time to work with. A nice flick comes in, but they're just going to grab the op and walk away. Save some money, but it's not going to be even going to happen. Zebro. Catches them off guard. We'll grab the off for their trouble and grapefruit in a wonderful position. They can't really, they could potentially, in theory, buy the op this round, but I don't think it would be necessarily a wise investment from Funstash. No, they can't actually. I was looking at the wrong economy. They're back to ground zero. Yeah, it's looking pretty tough, but look at the amount of ults. They have five ultimates, but there are nine out of 10 ultimates ready in this round, Barry. Yeah. This could be a huge <laughs> round in general. I can foresee them maybe uh, committing a lot of ults here just to kind of put a stop to some of the, I don't know, uh, e econ coming out from Grapefruit Ooh. Techniques, but that was really rough. It's looking kind of bad for Fun Snatchers. Grapefruit Techniques are just popping off right now. Yeah, well, it was a save after all. You yep. know the knives come out, you know pistols are following suit as well. Valiant temp, but yeah, grapefruit. This is also a significant thing we could talk about as well. It's like during these safe rounds, even though they're kind of taking the lead and momentum, grapefruit is definitely giving respect to their opponents. They have been checking corners. You can see the comms clearly. They're definitely running about. They, you know, they're spreading out as much as they can, but they still work with the information that they've given. And their sentinels, their doubles, that their sentinels that they have for the so Sova with Zebro has been fantastic. These arrows have been nothing to scoff at, my friend. Oh, absolutely. Now they're gonna use a bit of, you know, a bit of utility here at the beginning, trying to catch someone pushing through a main, but now Fun Snatchers are giving them all of the respect they deserve. Grapefruit Techniques have been winning their gun duels. It's, uh, I mean, and their aim duels really. Nilia's, we have seen some crazy aiming coming out of Nilia's. And so, Fun Snatchers not trying to catch a header from Grapefruit Techniques anytime soon. That's probably the correct decision in this moment. Ooh. Thomas TFT is going to be hit by that recon dart, but oh wins the God, gun deal! Me? No way! Are they 14? <laughs> is this just young reflexes? Is this what it's like to be young? Or just good, I guess? Oh my goodness. All right, well, that's that's their smokes gone. We got cages and jets, but not really enough. And we already see the Killjoy just rocking over there. Completely opens B for business, and you see them already setting it up. Fun Snatchers, they played... They try to work off the information. It was a great attempt, but just... They're by themselves. Nobody's able to trade. Yeah. I think they went a little bit slow in this round. And they got a little bit scared. Grapefruit Techniques have definitely shown off that they know what they're doing. And they're willing to kind of put some of their put some of their lives on the line to get some of these gun deals duels. But they are feeling confident. Venture does get a beautiful headshot onto Zebro. A really unfortunate situation for the Sova v Sova duel. But here it is. It's just Kronos, and it's just no one on the side of Fun Snatchers. Grapefruit Techniques are looking really good right now. They're feeling themselves, and when you're feeling yourselves on attack, you can be sure as heck they're going to be ready for defense as well. They're and again, they're they're just. 
doing very textbook stuff, pushing in. Honestly, Killjoy as well has been kind of opening up a lot of things, getting opportunities, catching them off guard. And there's also been some pretty interesting rotates coming in from Fun Snatchers as well that's been catching them off guard a little bit. I think they're not working... Funnily enough, even though they have double sentinel, it feels like sometimes they're maybe not working off of enough information or executing it in, in the way that they should. Yeah, possibly. I mean, it's looking like it could be one of those things where the half just tells a totally different story. Grapefruit techniques are looking really good. Hunter's Fury goes out and actually does pick nice. up worldwide. That's a big pick for Zebro. It's looking destitute again for Fun Snatchers. They're having a hard time keeping back the push from Grapefruit Techniques. I mean, look at their, they're not even looking in the right way at the moment, but JD wins out in the gun duel there. Yeah, but it's just stingers. Stingers and pistols versus an armada of weapons and ults. It's, it's tough. It's really, really tough. And this is where, you know, also on top of that, Maps like these, where it's it's a little more closer on who wins on defense and who wins on attack, is kind of uh, you know it, it, it snowballs. If you one gets to run away with it, it's going to be massive. Unshaken does manage to do quite a bit of damage, but with the amount of momentum that Grapefruit has, the amount of damage does not sort of amount to a whole hill of beans. Because look at the economy; they are just going to buy back up. Fortunately. Fun Snatchers did a good amount of damage, and they will be able to get rifles of their own once again. But we've seen them in the position where they had rifles again, and unfortunately kind of fell flat. So can they turn around this time with a few alts in their sleeves choice? I'm really hoping so. I, I hope they gain some of that confidence back. I mean, this is the first game of the group stage. I mean, you can't really fault them for some of the things that we've been seeing, like losing some of the gun duels. Um, I mean... Other than that, like, just need to warm up, get those shakes out. It's all right. This is just the first match of the day, group stage, game one, in the Valorant Sunday Showdown. So here we are, Fun Snatches versus Grapefruit Techniques. Grapefruit looking really buff on the side of attack, really keeping Fun Snatchers on their toes, and uh, kind of, I, I would, I would almost say, uh, afraid. But Venture, Ooh. what? Bemi, what was that? A shot through the smoke. <laughs> oh. And, you know, good, good old, good old oh, gunplay. Either way, speaking of which, going to try to see if they can do that themselves, Grapefruits. Not going to have the same amount of success as Venture had, but, oh well, say la vie. Oh, actually, are they going to drop? No, they're smart. They haven't, they didn't oh. get the tag, so they're just going to let Unshaken push on through. And this is exactly what we wanted to see. The Sentinel giving the info, working off of information, and maybe a little bit of hope based off of that one amazing shot that Venture had. I'm going to try to push it on through, but still player advantage is strongly in favor for Fun Snatchers. Not impossible with a good duelist, but no running back, no ultimates. Just an E to your name and getting blinded, knowing exactly where you are. 10 seconds. It's a clean gun round from Fun Snatchers. And there we go. That's the kind of place we want to see. And like you said, it's early into the tournament. So a 6-6 six, six is very likely with a play style like that. Oh, absolutely. I mean, Fun Snatchers this time really read the play. They read the the push from Grapefruit Techniques, and they were on top of it. They won those gun battles. It was really nice to see some of those headshots really clean, really fast, and the play from Unshaken uh, here, uh, and Venture, excuse me, with that headshot through the smoke, the, um, the flashpoint play through Garage here looks really nice, really clean from Fun Snatchers. That was, that's the kind of play we want to see here in the group stage, here in the Valorant Sunday Showdown. That's what's going to keep you alive and kicking here in this one-day tournament. You can afford one loss or again? Oh, well, that smoke technically faded out, but still, reaction time, insane. Actually gets a little bit of a tag, I think, up to the jet. I don't think that was earlier on. I think that was just right now. They are definitely taking over mid, doing what they can at the moment, trying to see if they can get more information with the drone. Being a little cheeky here, I love it. Not going to be able to be the you case. They are it. going to see potentially push over onto A, but JD... I think they're ready. Hunter Fury comes out as well. See if they maybe they can find something. And they rotate. Killjoy can't do that anymore. So Unshaken punishing 
punishing these play styles coming in from Grapefruit. Things that have been getting away with almost this entire first half. Now, Fun Snatcher starting to learn. Plant will most likely go down, but the player deficit is still there. No, not even the plant. It's going to be another round for Fun Snatchers. Great execution. Oh, absolutely. I could see what Grapefruit Techniques were trying to do. They send Nilia's up to heaven to hopefully catch some people off guard. And they send in Playboy Joe to get the spike down. But unfortunately, they should have... I feel like in that situation, they should have kept pushing as a duo and winning those gun battles and getting the nice trades of the mm -hmm. rotating fun snatchers, the defenders, rotating up to uh, heaven. But, I mean, hindsight is twenty twenty. They did a fantastic job trying to get that spike down. But Fun Snatchers were just on top of it in that round. And that's the kind of play that we need to see from them. I mean, we've seen Fun Snatchers do some cra oh. crazy stuff. Y you know it. That's very true. They have made it to top eight before. They can do it again. Wow. Oh, my goodness. But Joe has something else to say. They said, hold on, choice. They can do crazy stuff. But have you ever seen a jet just shotgun everybody? <laughs> on site and open it up for their teammates? No, I don't think so. I'm Playboy Joe. I will do it. And now we're going to try to do the 2v5 retake. Or just maybe take a couple of guns out of the hands. I mean, don't forget all the wobblings. Two-way street. Got to be careful about that. Somebody can shoot you just from the ground under. And Killjoy is very capable of doing so. Oh. I'm taking a couple of fights. But I don't know if it's going to be enough time to lock it down. I think at this point you just try to do as much damage as possible. You're definitely in the lion's den, and Joe ain't playing around. A nice third frag onto the board, and there it is. A positive half for our friends over at Grapefruit Technique. And we got one more round left. Can it be a 5-7? That would be pretty ideal for Fun Snatchers going into the next half. That'd be a very nice, a very nice half, especially kind of the starting of this uh, of this half was kind of a little bit rough. I mean, you could see some green there for Fun Snatchers. But it was a little bit difficult because Grapefruit Techniques just got on top of it. Felt, in, felt really crispy with a lot of their play. And I got to give it to Playboy Joe. They have been killing it. They are taking so much ground away from Fun Snatchers. And I feel like that's kind of like the win condition. Just like that. Took tons of ground away from them and not allowing them to get on their own site. That's insane. And now the setup from four play is going to be huge by them. Bemi, this is going to be a tough retake for Fun Snatchers. It'll be. At least I don't have to deal with a lockdown. Goodness gracious me. Could you imagine dealing with a lockdown at this moment? It would be tough, but maybe a few blinds is going to be what they have to deal with, and they will go down one by one. Not ideal situation to push on from heaven, and this is already looking like a 8-4 half. If I do say so myself, not a lot of time getting flashed everywhere. That's also... Another benefit with the Phoenix is you make up for those flashes of not having a breach. And there we go. An A4 half from Grapefruit on attack. That makes it a very convincing half. And on top of that, they'll be moving on to defense, which is slightly more favored. So if they don't, if they win this pistol, the snowball is going to keep rolling choice. Absolutely. I mean, we've, we've seen Fun Snatchers uh, on. I feel like we've only seen Fun Snatchers on Bind here in the Valorant Sunday Showdown, at least. And uh, mm. um, so I don't know exactly how their ascent is in general. I mean, they had some pretty brilliant plays here and there. Um, but on that defender side, it was looking a little bit tough there for Fun Snatchers. Like, they didn't know exactly where they wanted to go. They did have some times where they really rotated perfectly. But now I want to see this explosive play, this explosive comp really come through here on the attacker side of Ascent because I feel like this is where they can really shine. They can really take a lot of ground away from Grapefruit Techniques. And this is going to be a huge moment here going in, popping in, taking the site for themselves already. Got these frenzies doing a lot of damage, a lot of work already. And that is a one-for-one -one, uh, trade for both of these teams so far, Bimmy. It's one for one, which is nice. The smokes are gone for Fun Smashers, which is unfortunate for them. And as they go down, I don't think that was necessary. Oh, you didn't no. need to push it on through. What the heck happened? Why did you all go through tree? That was a conga line lineup. Oh, my goodness. That's just the frenzy meta at work. I mean, that's just quintessential frenzy meta right there. <laughs> <laughs> just put your cross in there and just shoot. <laughs>
What, why not just have some people go a main? That was literally Mario Kart. Everybody just going in in one group and then just one by one they go down. Oh, really unfortunate situation. I have a feeling there was some blindness uh, <laughs> in, in that situation. But still, I mean, even then, you don't want to go in. But I, I understand their thought process. They're like, if we all stack up and just, like, spam our guns, maybe we'll get one. <laughs> but uh, it worked in the other team's favor. So Grapefruit Techniques bringing themselves up 9-4. to four. Fun Snatchers have a mountain to climb here, Bemi. Shadows traveling. Yeah, no kidding. Winning that pistol is almost everything. You could arguably say that might be the entire series unless they start popping off. So there, it's going to be Stingers versus Friend and versus Spectres, and there we go. Zebro gets two. Will get closed out by Whoa. by the door, but they do manage to get them. Oh my gosh, JD able to secure that now is a 3v3 jd is low but they have information they could probably play back there near generator might notice a gun peek out potentially oh they don't but they get shot down by joe as well due to that lack of info and now they're gonna push down try with the player advantage but no great execution from venture and chronos hanging out by engine just locking it down nil has Quite a bit of room to catch up. They do have the Spectre at least, but they need to keep going. They don't have it halfway through the spike, so they're gonna be counting down one. You know the other one's right there by the tree. They have the info. Try to get it, but there's not enough time. They're just gonna try to at least steal the gun out of it, and they won't even be able to do that. Kronos. Ah, uh, well, all right. You won the round anyway, so you can buy back. No problem. <laughs> yeah, no problem at all. Fun Snatchers had a. I, I mean. They had a mountain to climb there in that situation. Great for techniques. It seemed like they had a solid hold on A, but they really used their utility to the max. Fun Snatchers had the right smokes in the right places at the right time. They really denied a lot of vision from Grapefruit Techniques, and that allowed them to stay alive in that situation for a lot longer than they probably should have. So the utility usage here on attack is already looking a lot crispier from Fun Snatchers, and I'm really hoping that they can keep these executes going. But now we have a very interesting setup from Grapefruit Techniques. You see there's two in mid and three chilling in that tree area. I mean, they are ready for the A push, and there it is, a really hard execute towards mid. Ooh. But JD is in such a beautiful position in tiles. But wait, wait. What? They what? Don't know. What? <laughs> what the hell? Oh my gosh. I mean, okay, they're still, they're actually still getting traded out. This is actually pretty bad for Fun Snatchers. Never mind. Okay, they locked it up. Oh my gosh, I went so fast I couldn't tell. Oh, dude, that <laughs> that could have gone badly. That could have been so bad. <laughs> the timing was impeccable in that situation. I mean, Killjoy and Cipher just in a dance of death around that smoke. I mean, that smoke was clutch, honestly for i don't even know who i <laughs> but once it, it went down somebody yeah sure. <laughs> once that smoke went down bammy it was it was all a bloodbath for grapefruit techniques they fell and that was a very convincing win from fun snatchers again two in a row they're looking crispy here this is exactly what we needed to see certainly feeling more alive going into this no more they still left. need Here. to work a lot, Here. but the gap is closing. You're right about that choice, and they're definitely playing it smart. They are going to be stacking up towards A, though. That It seems to be their true tried-and-true site. They have a lot to work with Ooh. just on rushing and taking over the site, but at some point, Grapefruit will start reading into that, so hopefully they have a lot of aces up their sleeve where they can have different types of executions onto the A site. Because right now, though, it's downtime. Oh, absolutely. They're taking this round nice and slow. Mm -hmm. And honestly, JD on the Cypher over on B main has been making a lot of noise and has been staying there a lot longer than they should have. But Zebro comes around the corner, gets a headshot onto Kronos. A nice trade, though. But here comes the flashpoint onto Nilia's. Not going to be hit by anything just yet. But that was a solid flashpoint to get him out of heaven, pushed back, and now they have the site in their hands. This is a 3v3 situation, and this is everything for Fun Snatchers. They gotta keep this momentum going. It's a must. You gotta. I mean, Grapefruit is in a position where they are 
fervently in the lead. That being said, though, quite a few rounds have been won on this half for fun center. So economically, Rayford needs to win this out. They're trading in, but 2v2. I set up on oh. hell and great stuff from Fun Snatchers. Just the crossfire will lock things down. And now that gap has closed. And I think almost tied up technically because there's not going to be too much money to play around with for the side of Grapefruit. Oh, yeah. Look at them. They're on stingers. I mean, they're trying to figure out exactly what they want. And this is a good place for Fun Snatchers to be. Attack is definitely their half, and I had a feeling that that was probably what was going to happen here in this situation. But still, Grapefruit Techniques have a lot of catching up to do. I mean, the old, the util usage from Fun Snatchers has been crisp on the attacker side. I've got to say it. They're really using it to their advantage, pushing people out of situations, really oh, winning out in these gun duels, and that's exactly what we need to see. The fault line comes out to clear out that little area, and now... Once again, the Recon Bolt comes out with the Flashpoint, and there he goes. Nilius is down because of Kronos. This is huge. The util usage exactly. is crisp from Fun Snatchers. Certainly getting a lot of information and making sure that this is a potentially flawless round, which would just make the economy ever so stronger. Oh, Belljoy will be the last one alive, but never mind. And a flawless victory coming in. Flawless victory for Fun Snatchers <laughs> as they secure this. And I think, honestly, with a bit of a force buy like that, they will be able to get some rifles. Well, it might be a little bit awkward mess, but no, they're actually going to go wholeheartedly into this. Killjoy with a little, to, a little armor. But that all, we'll see. I mean, Grapefruit, they, they got to make this round count. This is uh, basically putting it all on black. Oh, absolutely. With that really exp expensive operator by full health, Playboy Joe needs to get a ton of use out of this, a ton of effectiveness from this operator. And this time they are, aren't in the right position, but they could reposition themselves through market. But all of those smokes, once again, the utility usage is just so buff. Oh, what is going on, Bimmy? There's a lot of mods in, in, in boat. And they're still able to go through and try to lock down the site. Meanwhile, Unshaken, though, does get taken out as at least one player. They're trading efficiently here in Grapefruit. They're making it hurt on the side of Fun Snatchers, but they really do still need to make this round count. They got player advantage, but the site's going to be locked down. No Sentinel. To re well, actually, no. They have still JD, so they can set up a lot of post plants to get a lot of information for their other two players to work with. But the line will come in. They're going to rush on through. Kronos does manage to find one. And are they going to be able to lock it up? Joe's going to try to bring their trusty old knives to the ring, but they're not going to be able to find a second one. The arm will go down. Oh, no. And there we go. Fun Snatcher's Venture locks it out and ties up the Siri. And honestly, at this point, because of that buy, we'll take the lead because there needs to be a save coming in from Grapefruits. Now, Grapefruits, their backs are against the walls. Oh my goodness. It was the setup was perfect from Grapefruit Techniques. They sent the paranoia down the perfect lane, downstairs lane, and they really got a couple of members. And they were actually able to take down one of the members of Fun Snatchers through that paranoia. But other than that, I mean, Fun Snatchers put their po uh, had perfect positioning and allowed to keep they were allowed to stay alive and allowed to win those gun duels, and that was a really unfortunate situation for great techniques, but this time getting crazy. Up in the lane here, Playboy Joe is gonna be able to trade that one out, and that's gonna be huge. I, I I don't know why he doesn't go out. Well, I do know why he doesn't go out for the Vandal. A little sketchy situation there. Okay. Well, don't get too comfortable, Fun Snatchers. I mean, yeah. you still gotta win the round, I mean, this is, they, they, they've kind of been caught off guard a couple of times now, get traded out. It's kind of scary that Grapefruit does have the player advantage. Lockdown does come out as well. Oh my gosh, you kidding me? Worldwide went down as well? This is now a massive player deficit. They have rifles in the hands. Lockdown will be able to be stopped, but is it going to be enough? I don't think so. They're set up in a way that yeah, covered a couple of angles, but they can only oh. do so much. Wait, hold on. They're still able to lock it down. Last one standing. It's just Joe, but 
Oh my gosh, Venture, once again, last person standing will be able to lock it out for their team, but that was way too close. Wow. I mean, Grapefruit Techniques had a fantastic round. I've got to say it. They've got those headshots. They were feeling nice. They knew what was at stake, and they almost clutched out a fantastic thrifty round. But now, once again, they're forcing up. And look at this, three members with zero credits to their name now. We have the operator back in Playboy Joe's hands. But last time it didn't give them a lot of, I mean, use. I, they weren't able to really use it too effectively in, in this situation. So now the recon dart does go out towards that uh, top mid area. But, oh, this situation, Bemi. Oh, it's just too good from Fun Snatchers. It is, but maybe Killjoy can find something. Nope, never mind. I they went for the turret first as well, dude. That's it. That's so insane. Oh man. Okay, well, there we go. Fun snatchers. They <laughs> they're snatching insane. it. They're living up to their names now. They're definitely snatching the fun straight from Grapefruit Techniques. They had a fantastic first run, first half, but now, I mean, they're just. They're kind of getting bowled over at the moment. Kronos takes out Playboy oh, Joe. Zebra with a beautiful headshot through the... Oh my Hang goodness, on. the trades! Fun Snatchers are now down! And Grapefruit Techniques gets their second round of the second half. Bemi, this is huge for them. You fail. No. Yeah, it's the opening that they needed. And on top of that, really good execution. Grapefruit, for the first time, set up a sort of rotate that allowed them to sort of set up a pincer maneuver and there's so much tags going on and able to trade that was a great execution while not aggressive they were working and pushing together good coordination allowing them to trade you saw how damaged and beaten up a lot of fun snatchers were so so many of those trades could have been viable and they were able to execute on them that's exactly what we need to see more from Grapefruit. It's that comms, those traits that we were seeing on attack need to be replicated here. And that's exactly the kind of round you want to see from them if you want to see them take it home. But Fun Snatchers, they've had quite a few victories in their sleeves. So now they can buy unlimited weapons for the most part. <laughs> unlimited power. Oh, no. Not very unlimited for Playboy Joe in this yeah. situation. <laughs> now Blind has to back up, and that's huge for Fun Snatchers once again, making use of their uh, their util in a huge way. The Rolling Thunder comes out. Bemi, this is going to be huge for Fun Snatchers. This could be everything to bring them up to 11 points on the board. They are killing it right now. Two members left alive on Grapefruit Techniques. My goodness. I know exactly. Oh, run it back might be able to do the trick though it won't be able to allow them to defuse but it can kind of run in with a lot of information actually i'm surprised they didn't just run into backside just to see where they were but probably already knew there was some there would have been nice to get a head count though now they're just sort of working with uh, little to no information nilius is probably just going to get some exit frags or just try to go down swinging gets one but that's going to be all their trouble that they're going to get for it and now honestly they don't have much money to work with. They are going to have to fight for overtime. Not far away from it, though, but this does mean that match point is most likely going over to Fun Snatchers, unless Grapefruit can pull the clutch of the century, which they almost did earlier. Yeah. Yeah, they did. I mean, we saw it firsthand, like the most ridiculous headshots coming out of Grapefruit Techniques. I got to say, like, the, the aiming... The pure aim that's been happening throughout this whole match, oh, it's just been beautiful. I mean, we've seen those crispy headshots. We, ho I'm hoping to see some more with the Sheriff. Yes, disgusting headshots. And I'm really hoping to see Grapefruit Techniques pull out a couple more of those. Nilia's kind of in, kind of in their favorite place here, chilling in this uh, bottom mid portion. <laughs> like they're dancing. Very nice. <laughs> Little, little, little waiting dance it's the most impatient wobbles you can see in this game <laughs> yeah. but you know just it's it's calm before the storm fun snatchers they're being smart about it. they're just gonna rotate maybe play for some picks before really committing to the site looks like it's gonna be b but potentially could have the option to roll through mid so i like this a lot frees up so many choices you get in there you get out if things get too heated because you know there's a killjoy there's potentially maybe a lockdown around the corner if they can do some crazy stuff. But yeah, fade out of Molly with a smoke, actually. 
and they're gonna dash right on through, close oh. the door, gets one for their trouble, will get traded out, but honestly, this is a great position for both that. But Lights Joe gets one! They're getting caught off guard very quickly. Worldwide's able to find one too. But there we go. Here's the three. To keep it sane somewhat, and they were gonna drop the Hunter's Fury just to see what they can do oh. here. But ah, uh, Zebro gets shut down now. It's all down to Thomas and their glitch pop frenzy now. Uh, but I don't think they're gonna be able to get much. It is going to be the match point for them. And honestly, this is this is a bit close, but I'm glad to see that they were able to trade out worldwide. Definitely coming in close here. We'll find one, but I don't think it's gonna be much. You got 10 bullets, they have. 50 collectively between the two and now <laughs> it's match point it's a buy round they're not far away but they but here this is it choice this is the last stand the last hurrah it absolutely is and what needs to happen what i really need to see is playboy joe really get some excellent frags with this operator i need to see it i need to see those quick shots i mean we saw the last round that joe had this operator in hand, I mean, he was being pushed up on by Fun Snatchers, like really aggressively, two members pushed up on him, and he wasn't able to um, hit some of the shots, and it was a really unfortunate situation just because of the pressure, the absolute pressure that Fun Snatchers put on him, and here they are again, taking a ton of ground away from uh, Graper Techniques, and they're hitting their shots, the trades are going in one for one again, three versus three, and now Grapefruit Techniques, this is their last hurrah, Bemi, are they gonna be able to do it? Well, they... Mm, first, Thomas going down is not very encouraging. Joe's gonna do what they can, but they have to back out and they get shot down through the smoke. Fall down the killjoy. It's a really good killjoy, oh! but I don't know. One left, but it's an A main setup. They have the lockdown, but there's little to no time and five health. That's gonna be it, and they lock it down. Fun snatchers almost had to go into maybe potential overtime, but they do lock it down and the great, great adaptability to them. You were right, Choice. That attack side was gnarly. Oh, I mean, they had the comp for it. They got super explosive, and that's exactly what we wanted to see. I love to see stuff like that. I mean, even though they had a really rough first half, I mean, on defense, their attacker half, like you said, Bemi, was just absolutely clutch. They felt crispy. I, I feel like they warmed up because you could see, like, the aim between uh first half and the second half it just looked crisp on the second half for both teams honestly but uh sure. yeah, yeah anything else i mean that was a beautiful ascent ascent game i gotta say 13 to 10 that mm, mm, group stage feeling nice certainly makes you uh very exhausted and make you realize oh yeah we're just in group stage and it's round one we got <laughs> so much more to go we have so much power but you know, can't feel too bad for Grapefruit. They do still have a chance. And yes, I wanted to talk about this person. Venture, not only MVP in frags, MVP in drones, I would say as well. A lot oh, yeah. of intel, and I would say got more value off of their Hunter's Fury than they did than their opposing opponent, Zebro. Even though great, great Sova. I mean, the frags uh, across the board from both sides, really close game. This was fantastic. Quite frankly, even though... This was a very convincing second half from Fun Snatchers. The fact that they both had pretty convincing halves on both sides, we could probably see both of these making playoffs after this group. Oh, easily, easily. I got to say really quick, Zebra with 12 assists. I mean, that's pretty crazy. So like you said, an, an insane Sova in that situation, given tons and tons of uh, information to their team. But we are just about to jump into a quick little break, but we already have game two of the group stage set up. It's going to be Down Bad versus Lycus Empire. It's going to be a four-minute break, so stick around, and we'll, we'll see you on the other side. <laughs> 